Hey guys, Johnny Avanti here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm changing the muffler on my 2008 Toyota Tacoma. So I'm here at STS uh, Auto Shop. And behind me, you can see that old Mercedes has been sitting here, I don't know how long. But I went to Toyota to change the muffler from the catalytic converter back. And they wanted two thousand dollars to change the muffler okay granted you know my truck has 240,000 miles on it it is the OEM muffler that came off it and we're gonna you're gonna see that later on in the video and Toyota wanted to sell me the muffler in two parts the back part and the front part for 1600 and the labor plus that this is an insane amount of money so i'm here at sts i'm getting the whole job done with an aftermarket muffler for 400 bucks parts and labor plus tax out the door one year warranty so i'm i'm thinking like if the thing even lasts three years four years i got my money's worth there's no reason to spend you know two thousand dollars so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what the process is of taking the muffler off, putting it on, and it looks like an easy job. So let's get to that part. Right, so that's the original muffler. It's the original muffler. And it's bowed out. It usually... Oh, look at that. That's gonna pop too, right? So this, you, you this, can't salvage that. No, this is actually just a cover. Oh, that's you can a cover. peel this off. Oh, okay. No, and the actual case of the muffler is underneath that. This that's rust that's already pushed out. Oh, okay. It's pushing it out. So that's that would have been next. It would have, it would have been leaking out of this seam. Okay. So but now that's, they, yeah. That's not really uh, that's not really a uh, seam. Oh, I see. That's that. This is literally a muffler cover. I'm gonna pop it out. But. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You see the muffler's in there? Oh, okay. So that protects the muffler. It's just a shield. Oh, is, it, is the new one going to be like that? No. This, so, doesn't, this doesn't really do anything, honestly. Oh, so the new one won't have a shield. Right. It's just so it doesn't look, it doesn't look like that. Oh, I see. But, but you know, like I said, it's bowed out. It's got, a, it's got a soft spot right there. Yeah, it's all rusted out. All right. Actually, that one's almost a hole. Yeah, this is just a cover oh. to make it look nicer. You know, it looks more presentable like that than it looks like that. Oh, I see. So it's going to come in sections, the new one. Yeah, you can have a tailpipe, muffler, and the oh. midpipe. And then you can just change the muffler. Yeah, like in down the, the road, future, it happens to. Or pipes or whatever, be cheaper. Lucky. So even if I just bought the muffler and I cut it here and here, it doesn't line up with the aftermarket exhaust. Oh, I got you. That's nah, fine. As long as it's done right. You know that? So there's the hole. Right there. And there's no sense in uh, we, uh, welding it. Welding it because if you ever had to change something, the clamp can just be cut. Oh, I see. It's not even, it's not even oh, Yeah, I'm not going to weld it. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. No, I'd rather, I'd rather you do it right. But I mean, for an original muffler, yeah, this good. thing lasted a long time. I hope the new one lasts that long. It lasts pretty good. I don't know. Uh, you, you get some life out of it. Yeah? yeah. I mean, there's nothing like the OEM one. Right. But you go to the dealer and you ask, you buy this complete exhaust system. I'm probably going to charge you just for the part, I would guess. Probably close to a thousand bucks. Wow. You know? Oh, see, so okay. So this is the OEM muffler, and uh, the new one would be like a lot of money, like five hundred, a thousand bucks, you think? What the exhaust? Yeah. If you had to buy from the dealer, you know, I mean, you're going there anyway. Eh? Ask them, because that's it's going to be one piece, like just like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, ask them. I bet you they tell you it's close to a thousand bucks for that exhaust. It's pretty wide. And they're not going to stop it. That would be a special order. Because nobody really goes back. They always get a, uh, they always get a, uh, everybody just goes and gets an aftermarket exhaust. Oh, 
Well, oh, here's the parts. New muffler. New muffler. AP's a good muffler. So we got uh, AP, part number 700252. Silencer. Three Nero. All right. So we got my man over here. See we come around this way. Yeah, it looks like a quick job. Yeah, it's not that bad, bro. There's the gasket. Yeah, new gasket. Then springs. I have a YouTube channel. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go, lose a couple of springs. Oh, you got new springs. Yeah, we put new springs on here. All right, new parts. Bolts are still in good shape. So this, what do the springs do? The springs basically hold tension, hold tension. on this. So it's not like on the joint. It gives it give. It makes right. It the way this, this is is it allows a little bit of flex. A little flex. That's cool. And over time, the old springs lose tension. Right. And. Uh, we put new ones on. So you, would you say this is a do-it-yourselfer? It can be, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it doesn't look like too bad of a job. Just easier to lift. Yeah. It's gonna sound better. <laughs> oh yeah, well, uh, let me just get a... Uh... Yeah, okay. So you put that new silver shiny part in, that's new. Just fit right in, it's got a little lip. Let's see if we can see what it looks like. Uh -huh. Oh, so it goes over this lip, just like that. Alright, that's cool. got it on the hanger, the hangers are good, the rubber pieces. The tool out. That's using your head. That's using my head. <laughs> That's an old one, right? That's using your head. <laughs> Actually, like you said, it's probably better in three pieces. Yeah. So you don't have to always change everything. You just change it out. You can change part. pieces. Yeah. It's probably just easy for the dealers to throw the one piece in. Right. Well, for the manufacturer anyway. Yeah. Like well, at, at the factory. Well, it's also half a second when it takes off. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy so far. These aren't probably the best parts, I mean, for what I'm paying, but it's not as good as the OEM. But it's, you know, it's cheaper. It's $1,000 cheaper than Toyota. Depends how much you love your truck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy, he says, oh, my wife got a flat and he's getting her a new tire. He doesn't want to take a chance. Well, it's good. Well, it's good. Well, All 
Oh, we have a problem. Oh, looks good. Looks good. All right, we're in. So no issues there. Change the bolt? Yeah, I'm gonna change it. You got him? Oh, uh, yeah, he has other works. I'm gonna put a new bolt on? Yeah, I just don't like the way it sits. There's the hole. So that's the problem. You can see the back of the rest of the, the muffler back plate there is rusting out. Even around the weld there. So it was just a matter of time. Behind that weld or that bracket, it's all rusted out. So there was you couldn't even fix that or weld it. I was thinking about putting JB weld, but I don't think it would have held long enough. And it would have been a waste of money because if you don't clean that up real good, the JB weld just doesn't really stick to that. So I mean, you know, what it's costing me, 400 bucks to replace it out the door. And uh, the dealer wanted 1400. It, it, it's going to be good. The car's going to run better and it's going to sound better too. Yeah, this is a good truck. It runs good. I want it to last. And there it goes. That's uh, I'm going to put a new bolt in. It's coming back. You see, 240,000 miles, no leaks at all. You know, it's bone dry. That's the oil pan. Oh, the oil pan's over here. This is the transmission pan. One new bolt. Nice and shiny. Start them up, start them up right? Yeah. So now we're gonna connect this part here. Here comes the muffler. It's definitely a cheaper muffler than the OEM, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For the price. price yeah. But then you never know. The OEMs, they may give you the same muffler. They just pay for it. They charge you for it. Well, I've also seen cars that have gone to the dealer that have come out with years done with aftermarket cars. Shot work. No, aftermarket. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's that? It's a just a hair. They use it, put them on the pipes to uh, hang them on the racks. Probably gonna be a little bit to come out, but that's annoying. Yep. There you go. Slips right over. So is there a top part and a bottom part? What's that? Is there a top and bottom? 
Yes. Who's here, Mark? They have which is A and B. Right. A is inlet and B is the outlet. Oh, okay. There you go. So the A is the inlet, so the exhaust coming in, and B is the outlet exhaust going out. There you go. Not too bad. You got a clip, you got a hanger in the back. Right there, we gotta get that in. One of the things these hangers are good for. The, ha the hanger came in handy. Yep. <laughs> There's another one there. There you go. Oh, looks good. Looks good. So the other the, the OEM muffler had a thicker part here, but that's pretty strong. Hey, it's already in. Now what are you gonna do? Clamp it up? Quick job. Quick job. Uh oh, do we have the clamps? So it's already in. Can't drive it like that because you gotta clamp that down. So if the muffler ever goes again, it'll be a lot cheaper to replace. It says you gotta get a clamp there. And it clamp. You know where they put that big hump up there and then just go straight out? That big this? Yeah. It's to clear your rear axle. All that? To clear yeah. the, wow. Well you gotta remember your right now your your rear suspension. Oh in case it extent. moves. Right. Oh I so see. So on the ground it would probably be about here. Oh it, gotcha. It just stays away from the axle, you know, over bumps and, gotcha. and gotcha. so on and so forth. Okay. So you also have these which are bump stops. Bump which, stops. I had them loaded. Right, or if you know if the suspension compresses all the way, it doesn't go too far, right? And it dampens and it stops it as well as you see. It's, right, it's, it's definitely hit a few times. So if this yeah. has made its way to here, this would probably make it up to Yeah, I've had this truck loaded, it held up pretty good. Even the plastic bed held up good, it's pretty strong. So like, what kind of Bilstein shocks would I put in here if I wanted to replace them? Um, is there like a certain brand I can put? I would, I would probably do the 5100 series. 51? Yeah. All right, so what I did is I put some heat resistant paint. All they had was red, but that's fine. I put some there on the weld. And I put some on that weld. So that should, you know, hopefully it'll resist some of the uh, the rusting. I'll put some more on. So it doesn't rust out. Yeah, that's cool, thanks. All right, guys, so the exhaust sounds pretty good. It's nice and quiet. It's, the truck seems like it has a little more power because uh, I'm sure it has better back pressure. It, the exhaust isn't all screwed up coming out. Well, I'm driving with the new muffler in, the AP muffler, and it's pretty noisy. <laughs> I mean, it's, the uh, OEM muffler was much more quieter, and... Uh, it was insulated with a wrap around it, which probably that's what made it a lot more quiet. So now all the sound in the muffler is coming out versus having that wrap around the muffler. I mean, this is probably like a $20 muffler <clears throat> that uh, is real cheap. And I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if you think like the car is more sporty or a lot, but I mean, I, I would prefer it to be much more quiet. But I have a year's warranty. I can return it and say I don't like it. 
and they will probably get me a new muffler or I could bring them a muffler and they will install it for free. Um, if I get a, a better muffler, maybe they'll give me a, a, a refund just for that, like 40 bucks. Then they'll put it in for nothing. Okay guys, so the truck is fixed. Um, I just automatically starting it, it's quiet. There's a little more acceleration. And originally they were gonna quote me like uh, 500 and something dollars. I got them down at STS, and now it's a Mavis uh, chain, but they're still gonna keep the name STS. The guy quoted me 400 out the door, it was actually 392. So then I went online and I said, you know what? Uh, I saw the parts for, uh, for cheaper, you know what I mean? So why are you charge me all that money? Can I just go get the parts and you install them? So the guy's, yeah, sure. So he says, well, do you do price matching? He goes, uh, we do on the tires. So he went inside, he talked to the manager, so he took off another, you know, $42. So it came out to $350 out the door with tax, parts and labor. And because I waited so long, I got a free oil change out of it. So that's not too bad, you know. And I didn't even ask for the oil change. The guy came over to me, he was like, you know, you're a nice guy, thank you. Um, I'm going to give you a free oil change just because you're waiting so long because it took forever. They like kind of piecemealed the parts. So they got the, the exhaust system from one place and then they got the clamps from another place to save money on the parts. And then there was a gasket involved. So $350 with an oil change, new exhaust. I still have a, a one year warranty with it and I'm happy. So this is Johnny Avanti. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys again on the next video. And don't forget to ring that bell. <laughs>